team to win in on New Zealand soil against New Zealand? Yeah, a lot of course. Um, anytime you create a little bit of history, um, it, it means a lot. Um, you know, it, it's a very, very special day for, for everyone in the country and, um, you know, we talk about it a lot. We talk about, um, you know, making people at home feel very proud of us and um, it's right at the top of our list, you know, and how and I think um, the effort that we put in last week, uh, we didn't get the rewards. Same effort again this week and um, it was touch and go at, at times. At half time, I thought, oh my God, uh, but... The reaction in the second half was superb to, to score with 14 men, um, obviously against 14, but we, you know, to, to bounce back like we did was was great, and um, we stayed in the moment. We, we by no means it was it wasn't perfect. Uh, we feel that we we could have played better in parts, but um, yeah, look, very special day. Johnny, at, at half time, were there shades of the second test in Christchurch 10, 10 years ago? Uh, for you, when it went down to the bar. Um, no, to be honest, I, I was thinking more like it was the like the England game. You know, when we went when they went to fourteen and, and we we were playing some really good stuff and and we weren't quite taking some chances and and then uh, of course they're going to have a purple patch and, and some of our discipline that was probably the the biggest thing for us. Um, giving away a couple of cheap penalties at key times and it was the same when we played England with fourteen men or against fourteen men. Uh, giving them access and giving them a chance to 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 maul in our 22 and and they're very clinical obviously and they they scored a good try before um, before half time which which kind of swung the game but like I said we're happy with how we regrouped and and uh, bounced back second half. Andy, can I just ask what this win means to you? Um, <coughs> Well, it's, it's what it means to the group. It's not. It's, 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 not, it's not what it means to me at all. Um, as Johnny's just alluded to, there we, we talk about a lot about um, uh, inspiring uh, inspiring people back home, and um, these lads they keep turning up. You know, they they keep turning up and and um, and, and knocking down doors. And uh, you know, I suppose the the the. The most special thing about tonight is that um, nobody, no, no other Irish side will get the chance to do that again, will they? You know, um, we uh, we talk about a lot, not just about um, beating New Zealand in New Zealand for the first time, but there's a there's a series to, to to be won. We've earned the right to 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 have a go at that, and and there's things that's gonna happen in the future that we talk about. Somebody's going to do something sometime soon, uh, or it might be further down the track. It might as well be in your time, you know. It might as well be in your career. And um, the lads buy in and they dig deep and they put in a performance like that. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think the most pleasing thing about it is everyone knows that the the, the All Blacks come out in the second game, especially um, under the roof here and. More cohesive, you know, play a quicker game. And these lads didn't let them do that, obviously. But um, we, put, we we started very quick last week, and we did exactly the same. So that's tw that's twice that's twice on the trot, which shows the courage of the players. But the most impressive thing is um, we, we we learned a lot of lessons from from last week about um, staying in the game, staying calm, next moment. And of course, there were some errors, like Johnny said, but um, our mentality never changed. You know, we didn't get sucked into the allure of the game of 13 men, 14 men. You know, trying to play from everywhere. We we kept them uh, pinned down, and the, the territory territory game and the game control was outstanding. What will this, what will this do for the team's confidence? Not just going into next week, but even going into next year. <coughs> Oh well, they <clears throat> they back themselves against anyone, um, and um, you know the, the the more that we can keep giving them these occasions and playing the the best teams in the world, uh, the better they're going to get. I suppose the most impressive thing that we are doing pretty well at this moment in time is is understanding where we're at each moment at a time and, and and staying calm and not getting too overawed or frustrated with errors or decisions or. Um, not executing whatever we we we're, we're pretty good at trying to stay neutral and just stay on task and uh, it's it's helping us um, it's helping us uh, to play in these big games and compete. Johnny, how amazing was it the way you guys were able to just 
dismantle the All Blacks attack in a way it felt like every time they, they had some position, you guys managed to force them into an era. How pleasing was that from your perspective? Yeah, I think it was a big improvement on last week. Uh, that was the part of our game last week where we probably felt we, we let ourselves down. Um, you know, they had some some obviously great individual moments as well. Um, but, you know, we had a strong look at our defence this week and I, I thought we responded uh, really well. Um, and then obviously the other thing is the is the turnover ball. Like when at times if, if you're playing the way we do, sometimes you, you make a mistake. It's it's the, the the transition into that. Um, you saw how dangerous they were towards the end, especially when Will Jordan came on. Um, Severis as well is, is just, they've got electric players that that can punish you at any time. So the way we transitioned, I thought was much better tonight, um, and it'll be important going into into Tuesday and then into next Saturday as well. Andy, with the series decided next week, what sort of response do you expect from Will? Well, we always get a response, don't we? Everyone knows that. Uh, the, um, uh, history tells you that um, we're used to it by now um, so uh, we'll look forward to that look we, we've created a little bit of history um, for ourselves and little old uh, Ireland um, but we've, we've earned the right to take it to, um, to, to the last weekend haven't we to, to see what we can do in the, in, in the final week but as Johnny's just alluded to um, you know, there's 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 bigger bigger things to um, to think about in in regard to this tour for us. Um, we've uh, some young lads in that change room that's been inspired by these lot who uh, who, who want to get back out there again on Tuesday night and and perform well um, against the Maoris. And um, these lads have took a lot of pain. Um, that's what we've put them under uh, uh, the pressure of um, taking them out of the comfort zone and. You know the weeks have been totally different to to what they've been used to before because of uh, uh, us us trying to um, play five games in such a short space of time and there's been no whinging. They've been mentally really tough and uh, they'll back the lads up as well um, to make sure that they're in good form for Tuesday night. Johnny, congrats. Uh, what was the nature of the injury that forced you off and how confident are you? Yeah, I'll be okay. He's playing Tuesday, Jerry. <laughs> He's starting on Tuesday night. Yeah, I'm okay. I just uh, tweak my knee a bit. Um, be okay. It'll be fine.